Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17, our Goldcrest Valley, in our rodeo pick -em up truck. And I've got workers already out. It's 7 in the morning. I've got uh, fields being cultivated. This one's being plowed. I gave up on the oilseed radish. It would not complete. It wouldn't finish its growth cycle. Um back over there it's still saying it is in the middle of growing everything else has gone through a complete cycle and has gone to uh, to cultivated harvested cultivated and ready to replant so something went wrong in that field but I'm noticing as I am plowing it up it is accepting the fertilization of the oil seed radish as if it did complete so I'm thinking everything's gonna be just fine there um, let's drive out and take a look at a couple of things and figure out what we're going to do today. We get inside the cab here. Let's go check out uh, our fields up here. I don't remember what the numbers are. Down below field 5. thinking one of them was a 13. The other one was something like... Ah, don't know anymore. Right down in here. Clear? Yeah. So went through and cultivated both of them. Basically, we're we're kind of done with the series, so I'm just cleaning it up. When the series is done, I'll come back in and just enjoy the game on my own, or or dive back into it again if you guys have special requests, things you want to see. This is the challenge afterward. This is the the grand finale of the series. We're gonna we're gonna go through and harvest that guy, but. Um, Got the cultivating done here, waiting for this guy to finish. Let me pop out of here. Him to finish so that I can use this over there at the uh, the potato field where the oilseed radish is being plowed in. And speaking of cultivating, head over to Murphy Play's channel. He just put out a new episode showcasing all of the cultivators. It was really interesting to see. You know, when you play this game for yourself, you tend to get into a rut. You tend to get into uh, just your favorite three or four pieces. You know, I've only got two cultivators in this. Well, actually, I, I take that back. The Coon Pack had a cultivator that uh, I haven't used again, but it was kind of interesting. And the... Uh, uh, seems like there's another cultivator I've got that is a sower, a, a seed drill, that cultivates as well. So there, I do have other, you know, pieces that we've used, but you, you by no means get to see all of them. So what he's doing is showcasing all of them. That's kind of exciting to go and watch. But when he's done, in fact, he's going to be kind of done right now. I was thinking about driving over and look at the other one, but uh, I'm going to need to rescue him. I had the small cultivator in here doing, you know, from this edge on, and we've kind of split the place up. <laughs> Let's drive over there and finish him off. Maybe we'll take an Uber back to pick up our pickup truck. Let's him right over here and go catch that last little strip and head over to the what's going to become the potato field all right let's floor it into here until we get into this last little strip that was missed and then V drops your cultivator drop it on the fly there ah got it and we're going to peek out at what? Six miles, seven. I'm going uphill. Eight. Yeah. And we are done. I don't want to go any further because this is grass and I will rip it all up with the cultivator. It's real grass, not uh, background grass. Let's see, X holds it up. And that is our path right there. Yeah. Right up past this mill. Old Crest trees there. Pacific Grain Mill is our potato field. No, I take it back. Wrong road. This is the poplars, which I want to spend the rest of this episode finishing. Okay, well, let's make a Yui here and head up to the next road. Too bad the roads aren't named. I'm going to go up Mill Road. Take a turn over on uh, 
one thing I'm not good at is, uh, what is it called when, you, when you're doing a comedy act and you're just winging things off the top of your head? It's, um, I can't even think of the name of that one now. That's not something that's been my strong point. It's interesting watching Night Ghost do his streams. He'll start singing a song about whatever game he's playing, and it's relevant. He's coming up with, with lyrics, you know, spur of the moment, and just kicks them out for you know, five minutes straight. Yeah, I can't do that. I envy him for that. He's, he's good at that. This is not our field. So, past the gas station. Almost got the speed limit there. All right, I'm gonna duck in right here. See what we're doing. So we got the plow over there. Is he plowing? Yep, he's turning it right there. Uh, the plow is not catching all of it, but we're gonna say that's good enough. And if you look at uh, look at it in this view, plowing, we have got by far the vast majority. So I'm gonna call that good enough rather than go back and clean up everything which I can't I, I then can't cultivate until I have done that so let's get him going so we can get the potatoes planting this episode and just a little bit wider than the tractor right about there hire you out there you go hitting the edges nicely see all the, the parts moving in there um, we get to about halfway through and jump over to the plow and in fact, that should be the warrior. I should be able to shift tab and get there. There we are. Yeah. What a fine job there. This is the only field left that requires plowing of our fields, right? All of this is done. That one is. Ah, this one is claiming to need plowing. Though I know that's not true. We've only had one crop in there since we plowed it. Interesting. I guess the game needs to reset itself, but we're doing well in there. All right, let's Uber back. Well, how do we do that? I'm thinking to shift tab about six times to our pickup truck. Well, I guess 50-50 chance and I blew it. It was the other way. Let's drive over to the poplars. Uh, we'll take the long route. Sixty miles an hour is too fast. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take the uh, um, we're gonna take the uh, get out of here, the shoreline route. There we go. Let's get back over there. <laughs> there we go. If you're gonna drive that kind of speed, you gotta anticipate the curves coming, which is right over this hill. Now where are we? There's the train bridge. That's our road. That's that's Noble Road there. Noble Lane. So we'll turn on Mill Road over here. Yeah, this game needs signposts. It needs street names. They need to be country names for this map. Alright, here? Yeah. Let's jump in and do some, some uh, poplar harvesting. Got the uh, the new Voltra tractor up there waiting to uh, to take this this load to the uh, the sawmill when it's ready. Jump inside and let's see. I've got to select the tractor itself, so G a couple of times, and then V no B drops it all in. There we go. Quite the dramatic graphic to to this process. He grabs it and just flips it all over the place. Grinds it up as it goes in. Too bad we can't actually see it, uh, it going in. Well, kind of can. Maybe from this angle. So you can see the, uh, the the blades down there slicing them off. And then the uh, teeth, I guess we call them, kind of gripping and ripping them up and sending them into the the blades spinning on the inside. We have another gap coming. Kind of do. Let's see if we can get it. There it is. Kind of a view into the side there a little bit. But it is hard to see through all that. There we go. Unhire. 
Oops, and higher kills the uh, the blades. Am I straight? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go back to the tractor. Where am I? There we are. So yeah, this series is starting to wrap up. Get these processed. Going to get the potatoes planted and possibly harvest it. Maybe, what, maybe next episode I'll advance time to the uh, the end of the potato run. That'd be the way to, to go for that. And then harvest field five, and I think that's about it. I'm trying to drive and look down at my notes here. I've given that up. Let's see that mouse button spin you around. There's a trailer back there. There is bringing potatoes to the pigs. That's kind of the reason that we uh, that we planted the potatoes to begin with. So I probably need to squeeze that in at some point. Like maybe one more round of of uh, upkeep for the animals would be in order. Fit that in between uh, here and episode 80. Maybe 80 if it works out though. That way will be our last episode. This just barely straddles like one and a half rows. I'm worried that if I don't get it just right, I'm going to miss one. The tractor veers a lot. When the AI was doing such a poor job of uh, going row by row, I jumped in and, and drove it, or had the AI drive it while I sat there and watched. And It veered a lot. Like we just did right there, just kicked me way off to that side. I had to steer back. Other tractors veer a little bit, but this thing really lurches so that it's, uh, oh, Magzai on sale. What? All machines and tools from Magzai are currently on sale. I haven't seen a, a sale come up this series. I've seen um, great demands come up. Interesting. Let's turn you off and take a peek. What does that mean? Now, was there a way to go by now this category? Let's see, let's uh, shift this way. There we go, category and brands. All right, there we go, Magzi. Magzi? Maybe Magzi. Boy, there's more brands than I realized. All right, where are you? There you are. What? Okay, it's, uh, what, uh, telehandler parts? Is that what I'm seeing here? So we own that guy that guy, garage. Do not own this one. That's the pallet fork for the telehandler, though it seems like... Hmm. I was thinking the bale fork. This isn't the telehandler. Something's not right here. Yeah, we've got that for the telehandler. This is for the bigger pieces. Uh, back. Right there. Show me telehandlers. Where are you guys at? Right there. Is it for the skid steer loader? No, it's all JVC stuff. Okay. Now they're mixed in here, but I'm thinking it's more for this guy. The bigger one. Some of this. Nope, I guess so. I'm just looking for the bale fork that has two prongs. Where did we find that? Because it's not listed here, but that's... Isn't that what we have for this? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking about... Let's see here. I'm thinking of this. Right there. Okay. That's what I was picturing. Nope, not select. We don't need any of those right now. We're running... Now we are. My speakers are down low. Do that. Now I can hear it. Now I can really hear it. <laughs> How are we doing out there? Uh, we're kind of cutting through and filling up. There we are. 14,000 out of 45. Oh, missed some there. It lurched on me. It's lurching harder. Alright, get back in there. Now I wonder how much faster the cultivator is to the plow over there if the cultivator is going to catch up. For that matter, 
Let's stop here a moment and shift back a little bit. Get back to these guys. He's doing that. He's over there doing that. Doing a good job, too. Let's jump into this guy. This is our... No, it isn't. This is our potato planter. Oh. He's the harvester. So I really need to get into the... Uh, where are you? Right there. I need this guy to do that. Huh. Okay. Then I need something else that can haul the... The... Uh, Wood chips. That's the word that eluded me to to the sawmill. Let's see something here. Let me go on here. Shop. Garage. Show me that potato harvest or potato planter. Let's see if he jumps out at me. That's not. Where's the sower? Probably a faster way to find this. This is all feeling kind of random here. Yeah, I went right past it somewhere. All right, so he would have been a grimy, grimy, grime, right in this area. You are, yeah, you're you're beets. So where, and you're the beet topper, and you are the potato harvester. I don't see him. He's out of order somewhere. All right, let's go back. Where do I find potato? Beet potato. You are no. So he's in sowers. Okay. Sowers. Right in there. You potato. None in the garage. Okay. Um uh, you potato. One in the garage. All right, why couldn't we find you before? But anyway, you require 170. Okay, so I cannot use our little red tractor. Okay. Well, back. I'm going to have to use you. Let's go cross country here. I hate to have to travel the roads all the time. I'm sure farmers kind of cheat like that once in a while. Because it's a long trip just to cut across to right over here. Let's find the potato planter, which should be here at this end of that field, right? Did I put him up in there? I did. He's up in there. Hello, tree. Oh, momentum. My arch enemy. Let's get the planting going on. Wow! Who put a Dukes of Hazard ramp in there? What was that? Just enough to flip it. Man, if I can get more speed, I might be able to make a complete uh, roll. Ooh! <laughs> Gotta have fun with Farming Simulator. <laughs> Alright, this guy is loaded. He does not look like his picture all folded up. Alright, back a little bit and grab you. Remember the fence. I've bumped that thing before. Alright, you're plowing over there, you're cultivating over there, and let's get this guy planting over here. Now, if you see the bottom right over there, the green, we can put fertilizer in here. But it wasn't necessary because we went the route of the oilseed radish. Yeah, perfect backing up skills. Right there and higher. Let's watch this happen. We're unfolding the machine. We're going to drop the uh, the planting head down in there, which grinds up the soil, I believe. Drops the potatoes in. Stop working unexpectedly. Tank is. You really have to have fertilizer to make this work? You're kidding me. What if I choose not to fertilize? Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, you have to have it. All right, I will return. All right, well, best laid plans. I uh, drove the, uh, the the pickup truck over to the farm to grab some fertilizer. I realized it was the liquid fertilizer that we need. At least I hope that's the correct symbol. And couldn't get 
that guy into the pickup truck because the fork and uh, um, front loader attachment over there is for the two bigger tractors. The smaller equipment is over at the cattle farm. So I couldn't lift the one that we already had. So I raced over here and picked up this guy. I've never used these before. And because I need something to get it into that pickup truck so I can drive it over and, and load it up to uh, into the potato sower. So quite a long process to accomplish such a simple task. We're going to assume that the uh, Morgan's massive motors does their own loading. That would be nice. You know, you buy something, they'll load it into your pickup for you. So this is a massive Morgan motor, mm, yeah, employee here. <laughs> <laughs> who's still trying to figure out how to use this thing. Okay, what have we got here? Zoom out a little bit. Ooh, that is a zippy little thing. Wow, I kind of like it. What does it look like inside? Wait, we're tired. Now we're tires. But it almost looks like uh, controls for tracks. I noticed that in the... Uh, uh, what do you call the... Uh, what we did the logs with the Scorpion King. It, it was because we set up his tracks. There were two uh, joysticks to drive it. No steering wheel. And this is similar. So, kind of a track-driven idea. You'd go forward on the right one and you'd start to turn like this. Left one turns you like this. So, both of them is required to go straight. Now, I can't see where my connection plate is. Is it centered to the driver? No, it's centered to the vehicle. Okay, so... Kind of centered to that little dip on the right side of the bottom of the windshield is where we've got to go. Okay. Because I can't lean forward and look in there. That's the problem with the in-the-cab view of this game. You just don't have the same uh, point of view as you would if you were actually there. Alright, um... How are we doing out here? Actually, that's pretty good. A little bit. That should do it. So let's see if we can pick this guy up behind us. Lots of room. Now, I can't see the one fork. Oh, there's the other one right there. All right, so this is doable. Oops. Down a little, and we're in. Down a little more. No, we're snagging. Yeah, we're snagging. So it... Uh, let's see if I can slip it in this way. Bounce you a little bit. Nope, that's as far as you're going to go. Though I do need to lower the tailgate. So, got to get that... Hello? I'm stuck. There we go. Got to get the customer to lower his tailgate there. Um, how was that done? I want to say L. That's fastened tension belts. Okay. Boy, it's been a long time. Zero is honk. O? L. No. It's just grab the mouse and pull. Okay, let's go back there. There you are. Grab the mouse. And... It doesn't actually say. It doesn't. Side to side doesn't do any good. Pull. Okay. Well, grab the left mouse and pull down. That is your tailgate. So... If I were to... Back up... Nope, doesn't work. So let's do it the hard way. I figured the pickup was the very first vehicle on the list, and this newest one is now the last vehicle on the list, but I'm not sure if that is actually how it stacks up. And I'm not about to try to do that one. Whoa! <laughs> do that one from inside the cab. Yeah, it's tiny little movements. <laughs> so... Slowing down to come into a stop is going to be rather uh, tricky. You know, lurch forward. Whoa. Okay, we have a hitbox there. Let's back up. Whoa. This is probably a little bit too small of a. What do you call this guy? Let's see if I can line up there. Go all the way till I touch the tailgate. All right. Um, a skid? A skid something. What is he called? A skid steer loader. Okay, a skid loader. 
back. There we are. Can I set that down in there? I'm not quite aligned properly. I'm almost afraid to do what it takes to become aligned properly. Here's an added attraction I wasn't planning on putting in this episode, but... Oh, we are having some physics problems there. Well, I'm in. Yeah, yeah, we've got to fire that employee. He doesn't have a clue what he's doing. Actually, not fire him. We just need some more uh, training. Yeah, need to train him a little bit better. Turn you off. All right. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to call this one good. Close that tailgate. And L? Ah, not a problem. Of course, we're dragging our, our back end there. Gonna be, uh, I've had loads like that. They're actually rubbing the top of the wheel. Had to uh, do some serious readjusting. Yeah. Well, I'm going to meet you over there so this episode doesn't go too long. Be right back. All right. Survived the trip. Hopefully this is the right fertilizer. It looked like liquid. Hopefully that's close enough. All right, let's see if we can make this work. I want to R. Ah, that's what it needed. Okay, well, this field is going to get double fertilized. That's that's got to be a good thing, right? More is always better. Um, oh, I see that our, our helpers over there took the uh, took a lunch break. I had to get them going again. Right there, let's fire you up and hire you out. All right, get back to work. And I want the warrior, so you are right there. Back up a little bit, make sure we've snagged everything, and hire. There we are. Oh, I'm holding up progress here. All right, now, you know, go back five minutes, and we get to see what... I was supposed to be showing. <laughs> that was hiring the uh, this guy out over here, and watching it start. Actually, back in there. There we go. So, with everything done properly, we are. Well, there's just no way to get it. I wish I could center the camera on this guy instead of the tractor. I can't quite get a view of tearing up the soil down in there. We're tearing it up. We are dropping these little seed potatoes in. Oh, look at that. Little conveyors, little cups. I had never seen this graphic before. Picking them up one at a time, spilling them into what? Dropping them down the front. Okay, there's some uh, like channels right there. The tubes right there are most likely the liquid fertilizer, right? I don't think those are the planters. I'm pretty sure it's these steel columns. Hmm. So we're spilling from the side down into here. It's probably an auger or something driving the potatoes off to those little cups right there. Anyway, once they get dropped in, these discs will fold the soil back over on top of them again and, and uh, kind of stir everything up. So we're still leaving... Ah, we're shaping the uh, uh, the rows. Sorry, because potatoes, you want kind of a mound of dirt over them. So that the more dirt there is available, the more the roots will produce potatoes further up. In fact, one technique you can use if you're planting in your own garden. As the uh, potatoes start to mature, you can just continue to add more dirt on top. Slowly, over, over the weeks, mounding more dirt, causing the plant to... Uh, rise a bit and more potatoes will form. You know, the stock will, will grow a little taller and, and just keep building the dirt up a little more and you'll find there's potatoes forming in the new dirt eventually. So you get uh, twice the yield out of it that way. I've done that before. Anyway, that is nice. That's cool. Watching that work. Alright, so cultivating is happening. We're going at six miles an hour so we should not overtake that. Plowing is almost done. Let's remember to come back. Actually, let's pop over there. Can I? What's it take to get there? Well, there we are. I'm going to watch him. This was going to be the most difficult part. And he's doing a decent job here. See, uh, 
we start south. Yeah, we're going to miss our triangle back here. Are we going to back up a little? No. Oh, you are. Good. Oh. So, will you look at that? He's doing it properly this time. No, that's right. He always started well. I take that back. Yeah. He did start well each time. He just didn't end well. Okay. So I wish there was a plow that was more of a V instead of a diagonal line. That would work well, I would assume, every time. But we have what we have. All right. Well, he's going to finish. He'll be out of the way for a while. Let's get back to the pickup truck, which could be a bit of a challenge. Equipment all over the map. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Yeah. I need to drop him off somewhere. Um, we could, you know, just kind of drop him off somewhere. There we go. Y y you didn't see that. <laughs> this series would have been fun to have had a bloopers reel at the end. It would have. I could just suggest that to Murphy if you wanted to uh, tackle that someday. That would be kind of fun to do. But, uh... Yeah, there's there's great potential for physics bloopers in this in this this game. Where does this road go? Does this take me out to the other road? It does. There is a legitimate shortcut in here. Yeah. Yeah, let's get over and continue the poplar harvest. I see the plow is now done. I need to get in cab, make that a little bit easier. Our field is where? Oh, it's right here. Good. Let's run over here. Yeah, that's one way to unload a pickup truck without taking 10 minutes to drive back over to something that's got a pallet fork in it. Not the uh, not the official way, we'll, we'll put it that way, but it, it, it served our purposes. Let's find our tractor again. G, 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 and complete this run. Alright. This is going to take a while. What have we got for timing? We're, what, about a half hour into this after I do all my edits? We've got time. We can work through this a while. So I've got the North Guard series going, and it's going well. It's getting lots of views, lots of thumbs ups. It's doing a pretty good job. I uh, spent a lot of time creating that little intro at the beginning of it, so I sent uh, a message off to Shiro Games to see if they were interested in retweeting me with that, but I uh, don't know if that'll happen. I did ask them, though, if they would consider giving me a free uh, game key to give away. Oh, got a lurch there. So we'll see if they uh, if they are willing to do that. It'd be nice. Some games, uh, game developers will. Others are more interested in doing that for the much larger YouTube channels, but some of them do take notice to, the, to our, these little channels here, like, like Noble Rambler. And that's good. All channels start off a little at some point. How are we doing back here? Greenhouses are still growing. I can even see lettuce up there. At least in the one to the right. Up, oh, lurched again. Yep, up there too. Turn you off. Turn around. Yeah, let's mix it up a little bit. Go for this one. Can't see the chute. Yep, someone put a beam right there. Oh well. I guess structural integrity of the cab is more important than your view. Any of the mirrors? Off to the sides, the backs? No. Can't get there. Big bubble mirror would be nice right now. Are there bubble mirrors in any of these vehicles? I wonder if, what it would take to... Uh, what would that be? Concave? A view like that. I wonder if the game could handle it. As tall as this vehicle is, I still can't easily see over the top of these poplars. you say the tallest crop in the uh, in the game when I was recording 
craft the world with Mrs. Rambler. She got to realize the most difficult part of making videos is to find something to talk about during boring parts. I mean, you can only watch these poplars churn up and dive into the, uh, uh, the header so many times. Well, there we are, before it gets a little boring. Playing for yourself is not boring. You just sit back and relax and enjoy it. But when you're making a, a video, you're kind of in entertainer mode. Improv. That's the word I was trying to come up with earlier. I'm talking about Night Ghost. He is a master at improv. I am not. Now let's snip these off while we're, while we're going back for that last row. Or that, that row. I got off uh, track there a little bit. And you. Alright. Back in here. We're almost done. Looks like two more passes. Almost one more pass. Probably one more pass and some cleanup. That's kind of what we're looking at here. Wow, that lurched off to the side. I'm guessing up here we actually have two full rows left. So I'm going to have to come back for some of this. Yeah. 35,000 in the, uh, the tipper back there. IT runner. I wonder if we can get this finished in this run. If we can't, it'll, it'll still be the last run I'm going to record. Whoops, got a pile of it over here. Yep, lots of veering. Lots of lurching. Whoa! Took me way off to the left there. Push the steering key and wait for it. Quite delayed. It gives you the feeling there's a lot of weight. Like right there. It just shoved me off to the right there. You really gotta steer this thing. You gotta drive this one. Too much for the AI to handle. Wow, I'm all over the place. What is going on here? That is so weird. Back up. I turn right and it shoved me left. It's still shoving me left. Something going on I don't know about. The wheels are turned to the left. Though I am turning right. Interesting. It's still left. There's something throwing me off to the side here. I wonder the, uh, the AI cannot handle this. It's all over the place. Wow. Too much so. Like, there's something wrong. The ground isn't that uneven to cause that. So it's like it's... It may be something to do with one of the mods. It's quite possible that the... Uh, the for real mod that deals with uh, the bumping. You know, without it, you wouldn't get all this jostling. So it may be overreacting to something that is programmed into this machine, which causes it to, to feel a little bit exaggerated now that that for real mod exaggerates it even further. So that's quite possible. I'm not going to blame that on the game when I've got things beyond the game added to this. Oh, we're done. We're full. All right, that's as close as we're going to get then. Um, I don't have a tractor to deal with it, though. I guess we're driving this to the, uh... Well, this has got some decent speed. It's not meant for the road, though. There's, uh... Yeah, we do have lights. Yeah, we do have lights. Okay. Let's fold you up. Oh. Did that work? Yeah. I guess we're driving this to the sawmill. Okay. 
Before we do, though, let's take a look at what's going on over there the other field. Let's make sure everything's happy. All right, there. You're finished. Let's get you out of the way. And out of the way is where? I'm pretty sure everything... Well, the sower's right there. So I can leave you right here. There's nothing else that needs to turn around in this area. The... Let's see. One more gives us this guy. He's doing fine. And to get over to that one. That is about ten steps. Oh, past him. Right here. We are still three quarters full and we've done almost half the field. So we should have plenty of, of all of the supplies to make this happen. Good. Alright. Find me the potatoes. Right. No, no. The wood chips. There we go. Jump in the cab. Ghost is clear. 35 mile an hour road. Wide load. Yeah. This is where you definitely want your beacons going. But I can do 26 miles an hour. That's not bad. Do this in the potato harvester and may as well time lapse it. It's going to take forever to get there. 14 miles an hour, I think, was what I had to, to survive getting it from the Morgan Massive Motors. you got to say that with emphasis to the potato field. That took quite some time when I did that. All right, I am going the right way, correct? Yeah, it's just beyond this little roadside. What? What is this thing? Oh, this is actually the train station. This is the passenger train station. Yeah, with cars parked there to uh, wait for their return on the trip. I wish that the train was a little more complex. I wish that there was a... Uh, uh, a daily route that you know at, at noon every day the train would just take off on its own and, and drive the uh, drive the map. I wish there was a mod to do that, and that there was a passenger train that also maybe the passenger train made the trip, and you had to sidetrack the uh, uh, the cargo train. That would be nice. That would be a great addition for the next uh, next version of this game. Even though farming is the emphasis, have you gone to the trouble of using the trains, then let's uh, let's use them. Adds, amb adds ambiance, that's what I want to say. I just realized I'm sitting back and relaxing a little bit. Hopefully my voice is carrying over well to the microphone. I've taken the volume down on the microphone to, uh, to uh, not be so overwhelming. We'll see. Well, most of that trip I was inside, so the motor noises were less. There we go. And I need to select that. Yes, I do. So, G, be the very rear one. There we go. Let's dump you. There we are. I think I can back up a little bit more. So we're going to hit our solid, massive stack of potatoes if I do. Yep, we're going to hit it. <laughs> there we go. Still less than a million dollars, considerably less. So we are definitely spending a lot of funds right now. But that's what these last few episodes were all about. That's what the money was there for. Spend it so we can see it and use it, explore it and enjoy it. All right, I'm going to meet you back at the potato farm. All right, so we're getting pretty close to finishing up the cultivating here. Got one more pass on this one. The sower is way down there. Let's hop in here, and we'll just watch from the inside how the AI navigates some of these things. Got to sneak past that tree. There we go. And that is the potato planter way down there, right? Yeah, turning around now. So we'll follow this path out till we intersect the other one and jump into that one. Watch that for a little bit, then probably call it done. We've got a lot of editing to do in this episode, so I'll be curious to see where I actually land time-wise. Still can't get over the graphics. 
some of the implements of this game. I think that's spectacular. Considering that I started gaming you know, a couple of decades ago, and this is amazing compared to what I started off with. <laughs> yeah, I started playing games on the Commodore 64. So, this is like being there. Alright, so you are done. And you got away from me. Let's turn you off. And let's see, that is which tractor? That's the warrior, right? No, that's the warrior there. Alright, go forward a few. There you are, that's the Voltra. So, potatoes are dropping in. Fertilizer is redundantly fertilizing. And we're forming our little rows here. Yeah, good stuff. All right, I think I'm going to call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler, and the next time we'll deal with animals. Let's take these, uh, we'll take the, the beets over to the pigs. Pop them off, kind of clean them all up. Kind of waiting for this uh, this crop to, uh, to grow and, and uh, get ready for a harvest. So I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.